In this video I'm going to take you on a quick tour around Bridge. So first we'll open up Bridge and this is probably what will be you'll be faced with. I'll just select an image so it populates the rest of the panels. Now the way you're seeing this at the moment is through a preset design and it's called Essentials and I find that this is the most useful uh, layout for Bridge but if you wish to choose other layouts you can just drag that little thing along there and we can choose Film Strip which gives us a load of thumbnails along the bottom we can choose images along the bottom we've got metadata which emphasizes the information about the images in more detail keywords preview which gives you a nice big image there we've got light table where we get a whole load of thumbnails that we can sort through and we've got a thing called folders but I'm going to stick to essentials along the top we've got the usual menus that you find in any Windows program and if you click on these you can see the sort of things you can do within the program so it's worth just taking a little look to see what is underneath each one of those drop-down menus in this panel here we've got what's called favorites but I always go to the folders and that gives you a overview of your entire computer and where all your images are and so the images I am tending to work with with this uh, video tutorial is in demo raw files so all these files are in that folder there underneath there we have a thing called filter and there's a whole range of different ways we can filter the images that are displayed in here now at the moment there's no filters applied but we can get some really useful information within that folder you can see under lens I've used an 8 to 16 millimeter three times a 12 to 24 millimeter six times these weren't all taken at the same time of course these are just a selection of images I've taken but by clicking on each one of these we can see when dates were dates were cre uh, created so there's a whole range of information we can gather about our images from these filters there's also a, a thing called collections here and it's possible to create a collection and if you say I've created a collection called aircraft I could then scroll through my images and maybe add that aircraft to my collection and when I go to the aircraft collection you can see just those and you can it isn't just restricted to that one folder you can look at folders across your entire hard drive when you do this it doesn't move the images it just adds it to a relative collection within the bridge so I'll just go back to folder there you'll also notice we've got labels and one or two of these images of I've applied a blue label or a star rating and again you can see those and if you just select one of those it just shows you all the three star rating ones get rid of the tick and they're all back again so as well as the menus we've got one or two little uh, items along here that's worth uh, being aware of we've got uh, return to Photoshop so that'll take you straight back to Photoshop this little thing here is to get your pictures from a card reader or a camera so that is how you can if you wish download images from bridge directly I tend to use um, Windows File Explorer for this but if you wish to do that you can do that and of course there's lots of options in here to, uh, to manage the download Just select an image again if we move across here we can find things in there uh, we've got filter by ratings which is similar to doing it down here we can w alter the way these images are displayed by so at the moment it's by file name you can do it by type by date so again 
altering the way these are arranged and the arrow to the right either makes it ascending or descending order and you've got a few other things open recent file that one is co uh, create a new folder and you can delete directly from here now one thing that um, you need to be well it's really useful to be aware of is if you right click on anywhere within here within the bridge environment you'll often find a really useful set of menus come up you can either right click on there uh, okay so it's worth just experimenting right clicking somewhere and seeing what comes up in here I've just left clicked on the image and we can actually magnify areas within our little preview window if we wish just click it again and it'll disappear down here we've got what's called the metadata now this is all information about that particular image select another image the metadata changes so you can see the settings that the camera was set to uh, the bit depth the RGB color space if it has one uh, the lens and lots and lots of information there if we go to the menu here I'll, this is preferences you can't see it all uh, it's just gone off screen but I'll bring the preferences down and you can select what metadata there's a whole load of different types of metadata that it's possible to view in that panel there I tend to restrict it to purely to the the, the things you can see there but uh, there's a whole load of stuff down here that you could potentially view if you wish and then there's keywords Okay, so you can apply different keywords to your images. Towards the bottom, we've got a slider for changing the magnification of the images, of the, the thumbnails. And you can change, you can also incrementally make them smaller or incrementally make them larger. And we can change the view by just selecting these icons here okay so I hope that's given you a quick overview of what you can do with Inbridge you can also of course open your images from here into Adobe Camera Raw so if you select an image and press Control and R or of course you can always go to the file and open folder and open things from here but it's worth learning a few little uh, shortcuts so Control and R will take it to Adobe Camera Raw. Control and O for open will open it into Camera Raw or, or Photoshop. So this is the start of the journey, your photographic journey. You, you've managed your images. You can now go to Adobe Camera Raw or Photoshop from here.